So I decided to try and experiment with my kids utilizing math books from pre-20th century hostile takeover the of the education system. Now, granted, I know Horace Mann started everything in 1852. I get that. But we don't really see a super huge hostile takeover until the turn of the century. Ahem. I meant arithmetic books for all you math snobs. I've been reading Stoddard's Juvenile Mental Arithmetic. It's the first book in his series, published 1865. Um, I got this off Amazon. Lesson one, I asked my daughter, she's nine, she already knows basic arithmetic, but we're practicing. We're trying this out. So it starts out the first 10 questions that she studied a little bit and then she sat down and I said, okay, kiddo, how many are two and one? And then she answered, how many are two and two? How many are two and three? And it went all the way through two and 10. And then it got tricky. At 11, it said two and two are how many? Do you see the switch? And then we it goes two and two, and it goes all the way through two and 10. That was all of lesson one. Super easy. But I also practiced with her Ray's new primary arithmetic, which I actually liked a lot better. This one was uh, reproduced by Mott Media. You can get it on Amazon. I've got a link for you if you wanna check it out. I actually have the original of this, but I can't find it because I was cleaning it cleaning out stuff and I moved it and I, I can't find where I put it. I will show you what they say in Ray's new primary arithmetic in another video. I actually like this one better. It's a whole series. There's several books. This is the first book. I like it better than Stoddard's personally. This one was written, I think it was 1877, but the original run was like 1850 or something. Anyway, I like this one better. I'll share about this one in another video and we'll go over lesson one.